Temple OS is a biblically-themed operating system, and based on the author, it was designed to be the third temple prophesied in the Bible. So let's find out who the guy behind this operating system is. Does it run on an embedded platform? And what does it actually look like to do something on this operating system. Terry A. Davis was the creator of Temple OS. He was a programmer and wrote it over a 10 year period after some insane episodes that led him to mental hospitals. He described those mental episodes as revelations from God. Unfortunately, on top of that, he was identified with bipolar disorder and later as a schizophrenic. He suffered from delusions about aliens and government agents who were after him or had bugged his car. Also, he declared that he was in a direct communication with God and God told him that the operating system was for God's third temple prophesied in the Bible. He started developing this operating system in 2003 and named it J Operating System initially. He also used names like Loose Thus and Sparrow OS before settling on Temple OS. It is a 64 bit operating system with non preemptive multitasking, multi chord, and has 2D and 3D graphics. The OS itself is written in Terry's own programming language called Holy C. Yep, you heard me correctly, it's Holy C. Initially, he called it C+, because it is something between C and C++, but then he renamed it to Holy C later on, which I think it's a pretty creative name. Temp Temple OS written in Holy C. My first thought when I saw and heard about this operating system was that, does it run on a better platform, like a Raspberry Pi or anything like that? Well, the simple answer is no. In fact, Terry was actually against something like this. He said, I do not want Temple OS ported. Wimpy computers would slow down the herd. What do you think? How can we run Temple OS on a Raspberry Pi or a similar platform without any simulations? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Now, let's look what this actual piece of software looks like. Come on, join me. I mean, we're already behind the computer, so I'll just share my screen. This is the installation window here. And I think I am confused right away. Like, what are you, why is there two menus here? Like, I, mean, I don't know if anyone else is in this position, but like sometimes like just talking regularly, like your, your eyes just get like wet. Like it's like, like you would be crying, but you're not crying. Like, what is, what is that? Like what? Why is this happening? So uh, normal for this to freeze for a moment or two. <laughs> it's a good sign, a good sign of any, any software out there. I was actually missing something in the virtual box setting. Like after I did the installation, I had to change some of the configurations here. All I had to do here was to change that I wouldn't be putting it booting into the ISO anymore. And I added supplemental games one as a CD storage here as well. And then bam, should have the most amazing software running here. It looks like we have the passage here. So 79.7 for they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Okay. God doodle. Okay. Let's do shift. F6. So press space, okay. Holy Spirit can puppet you. Oh, I had to press okay. Press space repeatedly. Oh, okay. So I keep doing this until, until we're done. Press escape to insert sprite. Is that the sprite drink? The, the soda sprite? It's a personal menu, control M. Let's check that out. Control M. Ooh, dang. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. So let's see what is happening here. So there's also, there's some games here. Uh, there's a, uh, did I press a game? Oh, I, I did press a game. So I, it looks like, this looks like a fun game. Oh, this is, this is Flappy Bird, basically. How do I die? <laughs> the first game, first question starting this game is, uh, how do I die? How do how do I end this game, essentially? And it looks like I need to collect these things. It's, is it bird food? I think it's bird food. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't end like that. Maybe there's a way, okay. I just pressed escape and it went out. So yeah, flat, flat bat, 
It is a Flappy Bird, basically, but you, you collect bugs. Okay, so those are fun games. That was actually fun. Uh, there's, <laughs> there are unfun games. Let me try unfun games of Spain. M is a uh, mass. Okay, a mass, concrete, steel, wire. <laughs> I was I was really something else here. Concrete, steel, wire. Move. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm supposed to build stuff. Okay. Okay. Mass. Did I lose the game already? Let me build a concrete thing here. There we go. There were some things in the beginning here. I, I, I don't get this game, so I would say unfun. Castle Frankenstein. Let's, let's try one more unfun game. Maybe you weren't convinced that... Oh, this is a, a three-dimensional game. Dang. What am I doing here, though? Oh, there's some monsters. There's some monsters. There's some monsters. Are they, these, these are the Frankenstein. Why is there a chest? This, this looks like a more like a vampire thing. I mean, what do I know? Oh my gosh, why are my eyes so watery? Oh, maybe it's just like an exceptional moment in my life that I get to browse around in this operating system. Let's, let's try a uh, fun game. I already tried the flap out, but I, I really want to try the room. 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 Mm, oh, okay, okay. Mm, wow, dang. This car went out of view. It's hard to drive on the non road. There we go. Dang, how did it go that far? Okay, okay. Very hard to, to control this car. Let's go past this guy. This guy is going slow. Well, maybe maybe I should go slow as well just because of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? I am like a crying like crazy, guys. Okay, this looks looks like a fun game. Code scraps, non-games, jukebox, psalm modi. I wonder if why is there no sound. It doesn't look like there is a sound. So I will do mount T P two. Okay, there we go. Enter to exit, exit. So I will do a DRV T semicolon. Oh, there we go. And then I can do directory. Bam! Sub one games. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I got this. Okay, okay. I, this is finally starting to make sense. It's just somewhat, somewhat. Not, not a lot, but a little bit. So the files end with a .c because they're individually compressed using a Temple OS compression. After Egypt, this is apparently a game that the author was most proud of. So this would be hashtag include run. Uh, no, I did something wrong, no. Most of the stuff here is with capital letters. So include, run, there we go. Bam, and it's colon. After Egypt, I started the game. Let's go guys. So something is happening with the people. So I, I guess that's his view of like how God's chosen people were in the desert for like 40 years. I, I don't have all the facts, but I, I know that's what's happening. They're walking around desert and they were just following what God was telling them. Golden calf. Okay, there is a golden calf. Let's talk with God. Mount Horeb? Horeb? That's not correct. It's, it's supposed to be Mount Sinai. Where did Moses see the burning bush? Mount Horeb. It was Mount Horeb. What is Mount Sinai then? Mount Sinai. I should really use uh, Google instead of Bing, but I it's known as Mount Horeb. Oh, it's the same thing. Mount Sinai and Mount Horeb is it's the same thing. There we go. Didn't know that. I, I thought they're like different mountains, but apparently same thing. Anyways, 
So I gotta find the burning bush. Okay, okay, so, so I walk around here. Gonna look for the burning bush. That's what uh, Moses was looking for. Well, I think he wasn't looking. I, I think it appeared out of nowhere, right? So I gotta, I gotta walk around and... Okay, I see something there. Oh, these are just animals. Looks very interesting. You know, there's more animals here. Oh, there we go. I, I found a burning bush. Press OK to generate a random number from a, t a timer. Holy Spirit can puppet you. Simply, infinitely nurse the workmaster who pursued nuts, offensive faces, bounce, subtile, subtime? Puffed, tumulus mode. Makes no sense. If I press space, I could go make water. So this is something that Moses did. He asked God for water and he hit a rock with his stick and the water started coming out of there. So I, as if I keep hitting it, it's supposed to break eventually, I think. There we go, water's coming. Water's coming. Okay, cool. So people are doing something here. Okay, let's hold court. A man commits idolatry. Again, show mercy. A man commits blasphemy. Show mercy. Out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. I want to see what happens if you punish. Nothing. Moses Comics. Moses 01. Could you give us more tablets so we can have a backup arc? <laughs> I will give it to the backup people. So it looks like he, he spent a lot of the time just creating these games. I, I mean, there's some tools from what I understood. There's no calculator here. I mean, if you use the, the command line and everything, if you just add numbers there, that should be working as a calculator, right? But it, I, don't, I don't think there's ability to install like any other apps, like, I don't know, like a regular Microsoft Visual Studio Code or something like that. This looks like a piece of code, a piece of holy C again. So from what I understood, like all the files here are, like the menu itself is a file. So technically it's, it's just a text file and you're able to add these elements into the files there. So I think that's why we will see this code in the end of it. Hashtag include Flappy. There we go. And then semicolon. And there we go. Flappy Bird. He's uh, he's falling down very slow though. But it's cool. It's cool. I, I love I was super addicted to this game. Honestly, it's pretty amazing that Terry was able to write his own programming language his own operating system and a bunch of like games and everything that came along with that operating system in that decade time period. It's a pretty substantial thing, especially that he was going through all these mental health challenges during that time as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye.